we have a endometrium, mm -hmm. the lumen, myometrium, epimetrium or perimetrium. Here we have the cervix protruding down into the vaginal cavity. Here's the va vagina. There's the rugae of the vagina. All right, the ridges. There are, is the groove around the, the cervix. So the cervix is like my hand pushing down. So there's a, a moat, a groove around it. That groove is the fornix. So there's the fornix. There's the internal anal sphincter, the external, internal, external. There's again the rectum. There's the labia. There's the minora. There's the majora. The whole thing here would be the vestibule. There's the mons pubis, the pubic mountain. All right, so in females, there's more fat over the pubic mountain, sign of fertility. There's the suspensory ligament that would support the clitoris, just like, uh, and then we have the prepus with the clitoral, which is a clitoral hood with the, uh, basically the clitoris there. Sound good? Round ligament. What's this? Fallopian okay. tube. Okay, what's that? Smiley face. No. That would be the ovarian ligament. The ovarian, ovarian ligament, ligament, fallopian tube, round ligament. Okay. Okay. And then so the ovarian ligament is the one that is uh, holding the ovary. So there you've got the same thing. Fallopian tube, ovarian ligament, right? And then the round ligament was going forward to the inguinal canal. Make sense? Okay. All right. And, and then, then broad ligament coming up to the side. So if I'm the uterus, going to the side is a broad ligament. This is a rectal pocket? Recto uterine pouch. Recto uterine pouch. Viso uterine pouch. Viso uterine pouch. Uracus. Okay, going up to the umbilicus from the bladder. Okay. Just like over here in the male. You had the uracus going up to the bladder. Right? We have the outer coat of the ovaries, the same as the test. So it's a tunica albagina. It does, you can see it's just got the epithelial cells there. You have the, uh, basically the suspensory ligament here, the ovarian ligament here. The fallopian tube would have been coming around it like this, waft around it trying to capture the eggs as they're released. So here is the mesovarium because right up here, this would have been the fallopian tube. So if my arm was the fallopian tube there, the space between the two, this membrane is called the mesovarium. All right, suspensory ligament this way, going to the sides where the gonadal arteries are entering. This is going to the uterus over here, and the fallopian tube is going to the uterus. This whole area is the ovary. You could call this the ground tissue or stroma, all right? So these arteries and veins could be called stromal arteries and veins. Uh, you see primordial follicles. All right, they're on hold in prophase one. When it, every time the lady starts an, uh, basically a cycle, she, these primordials will then become primary follicles. They'll then become secondary, and you can see secondary is beginning to form follicular fluid, the little pocket that will become an antrum. Here is a large antrum, where the egg is now pushed to the side and it's going to be released through ovulation. Is that this guy here? That's the over there, right? So this would be around the 14th day in a human when you have a surge of LH. Here, here we have ovulation. Now the follicle is collapsing on itself. The follicle cells that were pushed to the side, you could call them fecal cells, granulosal cells, were spread out. And we now have a corpus callosum. This, not callosum, pardon me, a corpus luteum. Okay, sorry. That in turn will be producing more progestins and estrogen that will maintain the uterine lining. And then it will shrink down further and become a corpus albicans. All right. So here we have a male reproductive model, but you can see here you've got the rectum here, the external anal sphincter. Uh, you can see that you have um, the ureter coming down, and here is the vas deferens coming from the testing. All right, that vas deferens is going around to the prostate. There's a seminal vesicle. They enter the prostate through this ejaculatory duct. Movement of semen through that is called emission. Here's the prostatic urethra. There's your trigon again. There's your rugae. 
there's the smooth muscle of the bladder, which is the detrusor muscle. Uh, up on the roof of the bladder, we have the peritoneal membrane. And you can see that this path of the vas deferens in the female would be the same path as the um, round ligament. Uh, the spermatic cord consists then of the vas deferens, but also the blood vessels and the lower hooks on the oblique muscles of the abdomen. So there's an oblique muscle of the abdomen being dragged down and becomes the muscle elements, which we now call the cremaster muscle, which will elevate and lower the testing. Um, there's most of it there. What about the prostate? In the prostate, you can see the prostatic urethra, the ejaculatory duct, the floor of the bladder, I mean the floor of the uh, pelvis, the perineal floor, you can see that ring of muscle, that's your external sphincter in both men and women. So in women, obviously the prostate wouldn't be there, but the sphincter would be there, and her urethra would end about there. In the male, obviously, it is now dragged into the penis. Mm -hmm. Instead of ending, it's dragged forward into the enlarging clitoris or clitoris and becomes the incorporated in the uh, corpus spongiosum. You can see here that you've got the epididymis. Again, the surface of the testy is like the surface of the ovary, so that's the tunica albagina. All right, so, and then you can see the seam where the labia fused. So there's the perineal raft, which males and females have going from the anus. But in males, it continues down the scrotum because the two labia fuse together. In the female, it ends there because the labia stay aside from each other, leaving a vestibule. All right. Then finally, you have the corpus cavernosum and sponginosum. The corpus cavernosum forms the upper cylinder of the penis or the clitoris, and there'd be one on each side. So it's like two fingers on the dorsum of the penis or the clitoris. And then the corpus sponginosum, which is the lower cylinder, the soft one in the center. Which one is it? This lower cylinder here, which in the male has the urethra. Okay. The corpus sponginosum reflects back in the male and the female and becomes the glans penis or the glans clitoris. Okay.